Hello everyone. In this video, we will talk about the application of derivative and economics. Uh, specifically, I will describe about the concept of marginal. So let's just start. If we have a function y equals to fx, the derivative is dy over dx, or we can also write it as dfx per dx, or we symbol it as f prime x or y prime. We call this as the primitive function. And also, this is the derivative function. Economics, the application of derivative is the concept of marginal, which is the change of the dependent variable, in our case is the y, from the change of the independent variable, in our case the x. Thus, the primitive function is the total function, and the result of the derivative is the marginal function, which shows a smooth curve. We will see later the example how, what, what the smooth curve looks like. The marginal function shows the slope of the total function in each point of x. The example here I will show graphically. Here, we have a linear constant slope. So the total function is linear, and in each point, it will have a total, a total uh, sorry, a constant slope of 1, 2, or half. So since each and each point of x in the total function, it will result a constant slope. That's why it's called a linear constant function. And the result, the marginal curve, is a constant marginal uh, function, of course, because the slope is um, constant or equals to half in every point of x of the marginal curve. Now let's see. The second example, we have a nonlinear function, specifically a quadratic total function. On the minimum point here, the slope at that point is equal to zero. You will learn in when discussing the topic of optimization that the slope of the minimum or maximum point is equal to zero. So when, when you move from the left to the right on the horizontal axis, the behavior of the slope shows an increasing behavior giving a rise to the curve of the marginal function. As you can see from the points in the marginal function, on the left of the zero, when total function is uh, at the minimum, the slope of each point is negative. So it's in this, the range is in this area, negative. Uh, that's why the curve of the marginal function is uh, below the um, axis, the, the x-axis. And to the right side of the minimum point, the slope or the points in the marginal function shows a positive and increasing number. Later on, you will learn that if you have this curve, the, it is said that the slope is showing an increasing slope. The third example here shows that the non-smoothness of a total function 
will result a gap or discontinuity in the marginal function. This is a sharp contrast to the everywhere smooth total function in our second example, which gives the rise on the concept of a continuous derivative function or a continuous marginal function. For the reason, the smoothness of a primitive function can be linked to the continuity of its derivative function. In particle, in particular, instead of saying a certain function is smooth and differential and differentiable everywhere, we may alternatively character, characterize it as a function with a continuous derivative function and refer to it as a continuously differentiable function. So figure one and two has a continuously differentiable function, while figure three is a continuous function but differentiable everywhere. So a continuous and differentiable primitive function will have a smooth continuous um, marginal function and a continuous but not differentiable everywhere primitive function uh, will show uh, not a smooth uh, con not a smooth and continuous uh, marginal function shown by this gap so it's not uh, continuous everywhere in economics you will encounter frequently the concept of marginal Maybe you heard, heard the term marginal utility, marginal productivity, marginal revenue, and so on. Here, I will show you how math shows the relation of total function and the marginal function. We will use the profit theorem. So, it is said that profit is the result of revenue minus cost, or mathematically, we write it as Profit, or the symbol is fee, equals to total revenue minus total cost. And if we take the derivative of the um, function with respect to Q, we have this. Do V per do Q equals to do TR per DQ minus DTC per DQ. And you, uh, because in profit, we try to maximize uh, the profit, uh, you will later learn that for maximization problem, we set uh, at the optimum point is equal to zero, uh, the result of the derivative. And in economic, the concept of uh, the derivative of TR with respect to Q is MR, the marginal revenue, and this is the marginal cost. See, now you encounter with the world the word marginal revenue, marginal cost from the primitive function total revenue and total cost. So now we have MR equals to MC. Marginal revenue equals to marginal cost. So from the graphic, you see here that the, the C stands for total cost and the R stands for total revenue. Are the total uh, function or the primitive function to get marginal cost and marginal revenue. The behavior of the slope of total cost, which is the marginal cost, and the behavior of the slope of the marginal revenue, uh, the, the total revenue, which is the marginal revenue, uh, is shown in the profit function, this uh, purple one. So if we um, subtract each point, the marginal cost minus the marginal revenue in this side, it shows a negative uh, profit and then positive and then goes negative again because the marginal cost is uh, higher than the marginal revenue. 
and uh, when profit is maximized, we know that the slope, uh, you will learn later that the slope is equal to zero. Uh, at this point, the marginal cost is equal to the marginal revenue. The slope is equal. So this is an example of an application of uh, total cost and, uh, sorry, total function and marginal function uh, in the application in economics.